Quick Tips is brought to you by Domain.com. There's plenty of things you can do in pose for all sorts of effects, but it's often a good plan to get as much in camera as possible. So today we're looking at five camera tricks to add style to your production. I'm usually trying to get as much of my style or effect in camera as I can, and with that in mind, let's jump into our first trick, which is definitely a classic technique, but one that is still used in major films today, and that is forced perspective, which you've seen in Elf and Lord of the Rings most recently. And this is how it's done right here. The smaller actor is much farther away from the other, that's it. So we start with the two actors next to each other, then one moves away until we get the size that we want, done and done. Of course, the thing you need to keep in mind is that you have to keep your f-stop nice and high to keep everything in focus. The easiest way to ruin this effect is to have one of the two out of focus. Of course, this is a very simplistic use of the effect, but you get the point. Trick number two is a slow shutter speed. This will add more motion blur into your image to get a bit of a trippy effect. It can be subtle or extreme depending on how low you set it or how low your camera is even able to go. Here's a standard shutter speed and here's that same shot with a slightly lower speed. This one is a smaller difference but it adds a whole new element to the style. Peter Jackson has used this a few times. Trick number three is gonna be the opposite of the last one. This time we're going for a faster shutter speed. You jack that up to get the Saving Private Ryan look and I do this with most of my action scenes to give it more of a violent and intense feel, like the fight scenes from Proximity. For those, I wasn't going extremely high, but I was still somewhere around 100. You could take it much further if you wanted to, to get a more extreme look. On to number four, no budget lens flares. You could get these anamorphic style lens flares in camera just by taking fishing line and taping it to the front of your lens. That's it. You can also experiment with adding other things onto your lens like Vaseline, but it is best to put that stuff on a filter instead of your actual lens. Trick number five is lens whacking. This is when you operate the lens disconnected from your actual camera. You hold it out in front and move it around to get some really interesting effects. You can get great light leak and it can be used for some excellent surreal type work as well. You can also get a split focus diopter effect by putting the lens on an angle which gives you spots both near and far in focus. It's a very De Palma thing to do. But that's it, a bunch of interesting techniques to build on, take the general ideas and go crazy. But as always, a big thank you to the people that make this show possible, Domain.com, because no domain extension is gonna help you tell your story like a .net or .com domain name. Domain.com is reliable, affordable, and easy to use. Save 15% off your .nets and .coms at Domain.com with the coupon code QUICKTIPS, because when you think domain names, think Domain.com. And as always, until next time, write, shoot, edit, repeat.